Uh, my name's Hunter Moore, and I'm a scumbag, a DJ, and known for isanyoneup.com. So, an entrepreneur. I hope that wraps it up. Um, I had a bunch of scumbag friends with horrible tattoos, and uh, I always told myself I'd never get tattoos. And then I got really drunk one night, and I was like 18, I think. And then uh, I just went to this tattoo shop everybody told me to go to, and I just got my chest blasted, and I was hooked. She takes your first one to get hooked. Um, I got my chest de uh, tattooed, and uh, I don't know, I just wanted something religious, and I wanted something my mom couldn't see, because I thought I'd make her cry. And uh, I got forgive me for I've sinned on my chest, and uh, yeah, I mean, literally just came, I mean, the idea came to me within seconds uh, before I even got a tattooed on me, and then that was it, so yeah. It wasn't like I sat at home and wrote my diary, what should I get, and looked at pictures on the internet, it was just total freestyle. Uh, my stomach was fucking horrible, like fucking horrible. Um, it, it, like I just wanted to cry the whole time, honestly. So yeah, definitely my stomach. Or anything on bone just sucks. So yeah. I don't know. I have like one. I don't know. It's just I don't know. I never counted or anything. A bunch of little stupid ones combined with cool ones. So just one big stupid one. <laughs> Um, not that much. I mean, I don't have color or anything, so I don't know, probably like three grand, maybe the last two grand. Yeah, nothing crazy. Um, I have my mom right here, and it's my mom. I don't know how else do I say it. It's my fucking mom. So, and I got my dad too. Uh, I got this on Mother's Day, which was crazy, but it's my mom. It's my family. So, you know, they were kind of creeped out. Honestly, but whatever. Love them. Uh, forever tattoo in Sacramento. Um, I'll never go anywhere else. Uh, I haven't even got tattooed in years because my guy moved away, but forever tattoo. They're gangster, they're professional, and they're all amazing. So I'll never go anywhere else. Um the non-shitty kind. I mean, I like all styles of art, so it's not like I could just limit myself to one. I um, mean, personally, um, I don't know, anything that's black and gray and just uh, looks awesome and, you know, isn't your, uh, you know, isn't a nautical star. <laughs> but all styles, all types of art. Do you, do you prefer uh, black and gray to color? Yeah, personally, uh, I, I mean, I'm very basic. I literally only wear black and white. That's all I own, and that's just me. So, um, yeah, I prefer black and gray. Plus, like, as it ages, it just gets softer. So, I love it. So, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't even know. I come up with stuff when I'm, like, partying or I'll, uh, you know, I'll see something on TV or something. But, I don't know. I kind of, I don't really know. Like, it... When I like something, I just go out and get it. But right now, I just, just kind of don't really, don't really know. Um, I mean, I think it's cool. I mean, it moved from like, you know, like, you know, prison type style stuff and people with no jobs or careers, like, you know, typically had them. And most people associated that with tattoos. But now, I mean, it's like 16-year-olds at Warped Tour got their throats tattooed and hands blasted and wearing sweaters. But, um, I mean, it's more fashionable now, and uh, I think that's the way it should be anyways. But, um, yeah. But most people that have them end up being douchebags, but, uh, you know, for the most part. <laughs> uh, no, it's gotten better, and uh, it should be that way. Yeah. Um, uh, if you're a girl, don't, because you're going to get something fucking retarded. And uh, if you're a guy, I don't know, just know what you're gonna want. I mean, it's gonna be on you forever, but I tell everybody, it's uh, you get what you pay for. So that's the best advice for tattoos. No, not really. I mean, I don't know. I don't really give a shit either, so it's like, whatever. I don't really have that many tattoos though, so it's not. If I had like my face blasted, that'd be a different story, but I mean, 
especially down here, everybody's so tattooed. It's like, it's just whatever. But um, I don't know where I'm from. I don't know, no one really, I think the views just changed in the last five years. Like it's just, just fashionable now. I have no idea. Girls like my Twitter number count of followers or whatever. So uh, I don't know. They're my dicks in their mouth regardless. So I don't. I don't know. I don't think they're usually talking about my or thinking about my tattoos. <laughs> and neither am I. <laughs> um. I mean, a couple of times I wished I didn't have tattoos. Just. Uh, I mean, just for the simple fact that it is so trendy right now, and like, especially just the warp Tour stuff, because it kind of took uh, the meaning away, I felt like, in a way. But, um, you know, other than that, I mean, just because of that, you know, the kids getting their neck blasted and wearing sweaters, it just takes away from everything. Like, uh, you know, you know, from standing out or like whatever scene you're in or whatever, it just like, it's like, uh, I don't know, it just took away from the meaning of tattoos. But, uh, I wouldn't change anything. Um, if anything, I'd just get more and be more of a scumbag. But yeah, I just hate 16 year olds with throw tattoos. <laughs> you gotta earn your shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be like a dirty old man. Hell yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'll, that my views will change. I'll just be banging hot ass old 80 year old women with no teeth. But that'd feel hella good. Huh, Yoshi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I got this anchor behind my ear when I was fucking belligerent in uh, Montreal, Canada. And uh, I actually don't remember getting the tattoo. And I was originally supposed to get something fucking gay, like baby or something, because I was getting a matching tattoo um, with a, an, a little gay friend of mine. And then somehow I picked this shit and then he had like baby or something on the back of his neck. Um, I regret it. It looks like fucking shit, honestly. Actually, I don't regret it, but I wish it was done better because the story is awesome, too. But um, other than that, uh, you know, everything else I just like planned and I got, um, it's all just religious type, you know, theme. But um, there's no like really gangster stories. I got, uh, when I got my stomach tattooed, though, I fucking hated it and they destroyed my stomach tattoo, like horrible. So I refused to pay it and then I had to fight the whole tattoo shop and then my family, it was like the only place I went somewhere else besides Forever Tattoo. And then my whole family got involved and it was just like this huge fight over a $15 fucking shitty stomach tattoo. And then I had to get it redone. So that's the only story that's like gangster. <laughs> Yeah, I got like Jesus and Mary and then, you know, cherubs and a bunch of arm hair. And, uh, oh, I got a, a cholo eye for California. It's a little eye, but then I, you know, the drawn on eyebrow. <laughs> um, other than that, it's all religious. Oh, and I got a tattoo in French. Most of my tattoos are French, but, um, that are script anyways. But I got hated when I shut down my sight on my hand. Well, why French? Um, it's just beautiful and it looks cool and most people don't know what the fuck it is so you know even if it was some ignorant and stupid like at least it looks pretty so yeah um, yeah I, I'm touring the country I got three uh, tours booked right now I'm doing some stuff with the millionaires and uh, Trey Cyrus and a bunch of uh, stuff on my own and I think I'm doing something with Nathan Ryan who I haven't heard of and I sound like a dick for saying that but um, I got a bunch of tours coming up and a bunch of international tours, uh, Canada and Australia. Um, but that's mostly just promoting me having sex with a bunch of random girls and getting me laid, basically, and lots of boobs. Other than that, um, I'm filming for my new site, huntermore.tv, and it's gonna be a little bit like Is Anyone Up, but um, a lot more video content, and it's gonna be like Girls Gone Wild meets social media meets uh, isanyoneup.com. And I got a book coming out. Uh, just lots of boobs, pretty much. Tons and tons of boobs and vaginas and maybe a couple dicks sprinkled in there. But um, other than that, yeah, just follow the Twitter, at Hunter Moore. Uh, this is Hunter Moore. Thank you for watching inkandhonor.com. And follow me on Twitter, at Hunter Moore. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I mean, we could do, get my wiener out or something. Yeah, no, you can't put that on YouTube.